my friends are sins. In this relatively short video, I'm going to demonstrate to you one of my favourite scripts for Norns. If you don't know what Norns is, that's basically this wee device at the top here. It is essentially a standalone music computer that has all sorts of weird and wonderful capabilities. And there's this amazing community that writes really interesting scripts. So there's a ton of different sequencers, different synthesizers, and a whole host of other lovely little things to inspire you. Now, strictly speaking, this is actually a Norn Shield, which is kind of the DIY version of Norns, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna call this the Norns. Now, you'll notice down here, I have a launch pad, and I'm using this instead of the more traditional monohm grid, which is really what this is kind of designed to be used with, but you can use alternative grids with a wee bit of a change to the code, and that's what I'm doing here. Now, Goldeneye is the script that I'm gonna be showing you. Essentially, it is a kind of alternative, interesting sequence and pattern generator for drums. Each pad is associated with a different sample. There are 120 samples on the launch pad because we've got 64 pads here. It's spread across two pages. If you've got a 64 pad monome, then obviously it will be similar. If you've got a 128 monome, then obviously it will be spread across the full thing. But for me, it's spread across two different pages. It comes with 128 samples, but you can replace them with your own or use different sample banks. Unfortunately, you do have to go into the code to change the directory of where the samples are. You can't just select them in the script, if that makes sense. But on its own, it's a really interesting way to generate kind of unpredictable and, you know, interesting rhythmical patterns that you might not necessarily otherwise come up with on your own. Now, if I trigger a pad or press a pad, you'll start to hear whatever sample is associated with that pad uh, start running. And you can't actually, strictly speaking, you know, easily associate a particular sample with a particular pad. This is more meant to be a kind of a serendipitous way of sequencing and finding rhythm. So if I hit this, this is a kind of kick drum sound. And on the screen here, you'll see, hopefully, that there's a wee line in the middle that indicates how many times or on what steps that kick or that sample plays. Now we can change the number of times that will play within that uh, kind of length by holding down the pad and then turning this knob here. And you can see that it starts to change the divisions. We could have it right up at one. We can also change the length of this. So we can make it down uh, to that. I think that's eight steps. So it goes from eight steps to 16, but we can change it and have all sorts of, you know, have the steps in different places. Now you don't get a huge amount of granular control over this. And again, that is really not kind of the point of this script. It's more to give you different, uh, different and interesting patterns. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it on uh, every other one. Now, the real beauty of this is when you start bringing in other pads and seeing what happens and how they kind of all intermingle. So let's just pick another one. That's a pretty strange sample. That's worth saying at this point, actually, you can change the volume of the sample by holding down the pad and using this button up here. Because that's quite loud. So let's bring that down. And then we just bring in other pads, like this one. Again, that's a bit loud. It's a bit uh, extreme, so let's take it down a wee bit. Now sometimes it can take a bit of time to get some actual usable rhythms, right? But when you do get into it, you find yourself in this place where it all starts to kind of roll together or mingle together and all of a sudden you'll find a really cool rhythm. So I'll play about it and see. Like this, this is actually beginning to sound all right, and then you can start to do variations. So 
Switch to the other page. Now it's worth saying that there is a wee bit of a swing in some of these steps, it seems like, and that is something that you can't actually edit as far as I can tell. And there's also no way to change the kind of rate at which it proceeds through these steps. So some of the pads go on a bit of a slower kind of rate and some of them go on a faster rate and that's all part of the kind of charm and entropy of it. Now another cool thing you can do with this is once you get to a point where you've got a pattern that you think is pretty cool, you can press this button and it will kind of fuck everything up essentially, so... And it flips everything around on the pads and changes up the sequence, so... You can get really interesting variations in this. So that is GoldenEye. Uh, it's fairly straightforward and I hope you get an idea of what it might be useful for. What I really like about it is, as somebody who is pretty crap at programming drum patterns, maybe you're similar, maybe not, maybe you're a rhythmical savant, but for me, I find myself getting stuck in the same kind of, you know, approach to the same kind of steps or whatever. And with this, because it forces you into a kind of, you know, random-ish way of working, it means you can come up with these really unexpected and interesting patterns. The samples that are in here are also really cool. It sounds really industrial on its own. But if you start to think about how you could perhaps combine this with other samples, so not just rhythmical things, then it becomes really interesting indeed. Now, if you're interested in any of this stuff, eh, I've recorded a whole pile of different things that I've done with this, and they're all on the Patreon. So if you don't want to get an orange or anything, and you want a whole bunch of stuff, then it's there as usual. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. If you've got any particular scripts on Norns you want me to look at, let me know. I'm going to take a look at some others later. Goodbye.